43-year-old welder Sina Bagayogo used to travel long distances to find work until the Malian town he lives in finally got electricity. He now has the energy needed to power his drill and runs this small welding workshop from home, creating jobs for himself and others. It's made it possible to work here. We used to have to go to another town. Energy is central to furthering economic growth in developing countries around the world, but providing that energy remains a challenge for many governments. The Energy Sector Management Assistance Program, or SMAP, is helping these governments meet their energy challenges. We have, over the last uh, couple of years, dispersed more than $50 million for 200 analytical advisory activities. Those activities have helped identify, design, and prepare $16 billion worth of energy sector loans at the World Bank, multiplied several times over when other financiers are involved. In Africa, 650 million people still have no access to electricity. In response, SMAP is helping the governments of African countries, including Mali, Ghana, Kenya and Rwanda, to provide clean, safe and reliable energy to their populations. Once we have some successful case studies, successful experiments, successful projects in other countries, SMAP enables us to collect that body of knowledge, put it into a form where it can be articulated and disseminated to different countries which are facing you know, different types of problems and make that knowledge easily available. In East Asia, SMAP has guided governments in planning energy efficient buildings and has helped ease traffic congestion and gas emissions by introducing thousands of fuel efficient buses. The World Bank through SMAP has been helping our Energy Regulatory Commission as far as coming up with the right uh, shall we say, feed-in tariff to promote new renewables like wind and solar and biomass and coming up with sort of analysis on what is the avoided cost of thermal power. Capacity building for uh, regulators has been a very uh, helpful assistance given by REMT to the Philippines. Under SMAP's Renewable Energy Program, Countries in the Middle East and North Africa are tapping abundant sunshine, heavy winds and vast tracts of unused land to develop clean and reliable solar, geothermal, wind and small hydroelectric power plants. We're helping to put together a six billion dollar uh, package of financing that's from both public and private uh, sources as well as technical assistance uh, covering a range of countries, Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, Egypt, Jordan, uh, the West Bank, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, uh, the list is, is growing, uh, and working with uh, quite a range of partners. In Europe and Central Asia, SMAP funding has helped increase countries' energy supplies through inter-regional energy markets and energy conservation programs. And in South Asia, SMAP's funding of studies on the impact of the global financial crisis has led to major boosts to power sector investments in Bangladesh, Pakistan and India. The bank has been assisting the government of India with very large projects to build out uh, transmission lines. And in particular, they have been connecting all the regional grids so that uh, power which is generated in the Himalayas can be transported down to Delhi and other large consumption centers in the four metros. And in countries of Latin America and the Caribbean, SMAP is working with governments to develop low carbon approaches to generating energy. In the Latin American Caribbean region, most of the countries that we deal with are middle income countries and have high degrees of access. What we're looking to do is really to help the countries increase the amount of renewables that they use, to promote energy efficiency, and to generally help them improve the efficiency with which they plan the development of the energy sector. I see SMAP focusing really on three areas. One is introducing the concept of results-based financing into the energy sector. Second, scaling up our work on energy access. Not just electrification, but also household energy, for cooking, heating, and lighting. And finally, finding a way to link concerns about climate change with our clients' policy objectives 
for increasing access and improving the reliability of their energy sectors. As populations increase, so will their energy demands. And so will SMAP support of the developing world's projects to increase safe and reliable electricity access for all.